Hello, in this video I will talk about the war of iron swords, the war against uh, the new Nazis, the murderers, terrorist organization Hamas. The war of iron swords is a war between the state of Israel and various terrorist organizations mainly from the Gaza Strip and led by Hamas which broke out on the morning of Saturday the holiday of Shmini Atzeret and Simchat Torah 22nd Tishrei Tashpad October 7th 2023 in a surprise attack by Hamas on the Gaza Strip in which the terrorist organization and its partners murdered 1400 Israeli and foreign citizens and kidnapped at least 245 Israelis and, for, uh, and for, uh, foreigners of whom five were released, uh, some by Hamas and one female soldier was rescued by the Israeli security forces from the Gaza Strip. The surprise attack on Israel led by Hamas which started the war began under the auspices of a heavy rocket barge towards the Gaza Strip and also towards more distant areas such as Gan, uh, such as Rush Dan, the Uda Lowlands, the Sharon, Jerusalem, and Beersheba. Gaza and the IDF bases in the area to massacre the civilians and kidnap as many soldiers and civilians as possible to the Gaza Strip. The attack, which was the largest terrorist attack in the history of the State of Israel, was carried out in a massacre of civilians in the area surrounding Gaza, which also included taking over IDF bases, kidnapping soldiers and civilians, including women, children, the elderly, and foreign citizens <coughs> while committing crimes against humanity and uh, war crimes, including the massacre at the Nature Festival near uh, Reim, which was the largest terrorist, terrorist attack in country's history. In the, in the country's history in which over 270 people were murdered. Other massacres were also carried out in the settlements of Beri, Far Gaza, near Oz, Nahal Oz, Netiv Asara, Hulit, Yechini, Nirim, Nir Yitzhak, and Ashtosha, Kisufim, and other settlements in the Otef. Many of the residents of those settlements were murdered and some were kidnapped to Gaza Strip. Israel was surprised by the attack after a discussion held about two weeks before the war according to government officials, senior IDF officials assessed to the political echelon that Hamas was deterred and not interested in escalation. An IDF spokesman confirmed that uh, there were indeed signs the night before the Hamas invasion, but uh, this didn't lead to escalation alertness level. <coughs> The IDF mobilized more than 360,000 soldiers 
into the reserves, the largest uh, reserve of mobilization in the country's history after the liberation of the communities surrounding the Gaza Strip, Israel evacuated 29 communities in the Gaza Strip. Residents of 22 communities in northern Israel received a recommendation from authorities to leave the place following the fear in Israel that the terrorist organization Hezbollah would join the fighting more actively during the second week of the war. The escalation in the north developed into low intensity clashes. The Israeli security forces led by the IDF and Israel police killed over 1,550 terrorists on Israeli territory. The Air Force and Navy began mainly after the cleansing of the southern area, a series of air and sea attacks on the Gaza Strip, bombing Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad targets. The intensity of the attacks increased and thousands of terrorists and thousands of terrorist targets were attacked. Later, the IDF launched the IDF launched a series of targeted countermeasures in which a number of senior Hamas terrorists and terrorists who were involved in the terrorist attack were eliminated. On October 26, the IDF began ground raids by infantry, armor and engineering forces in preparation for the ground campaign in the Gaza Strip. Okay, thank you very much.